What's your testimony? Um, I've been diagnosed with stomach ulcers a while back, I think when I was like 16 years old. Um, so I had a, an episode of that when I was 16, and then a year ago I had another episode, and it was really, really painful. I went to the doctors and he gave me medication. Um, so I was supposed to take medication every time I eat, and um, well, my insurance ran out, so I kind of stopped going. Uh, for those medications refills and stop taking them. And about, I don't know, a month ago, a month and a half ago. So how did the ulcer in your stomach affected your daily life? Well, I kind of stopped eat. well, not stopped eating, I ate, but I kind of, <laughs> I was really careful with what I was eating because every time I would eat, my stomach would just hurt really bad and I would just, I don't know, like, try to take ibuprofen but that even makes um, makes it worse and so I just ended up kind of like just snacking on foods and doctors told me to watch out what I eat and I never really like I ate healthy all my life I never really ate junk food um, maybe like once in a while but um, I don't know it was just I, I was really struggling I, every time I would eat I would be in pain and a month ago it was really severe about a month and a half ago it was really severe where after Sunday service, everything was fine, and we're driving home, and um, we're going to parents' house, and I just went, I barely walked out of the car, um, went straight to my sister's room, and I was just rolling in the ball, like crying, and I, I couldn't help myself. It was just so painful. I felt like everything inside my stomach was just being torn apart. And so what happened? How did you receive your healing? Um, I started a home group, so I told my girls to pray for me, and I also went to the home group I go, and they prayed for me there, and um, I started, no I started no so this, this happened about a month ago, and I started noticing that it's starting, uh, the pain is, was not as severe, and then this last month, prayer line, actually even before the prayer line started, during worship, when um, Alexandra was singing the song, where the worship team was singing the song, uh, God was the, he the healer something like that. Um, I, I started feeling like really warm, like heat going through my stomach and it was just kind of like bubbling in my stomach and I came home and I've been eating after that and I'm fine, no pain. Hallelujah. Have, have you gone to doctors to check if you still have ulcers yet? No, I don't have insurance, but I know I've been healed. <laughs> Maybe next year when I get a job. <laughs> and so how long it's been that you have not had pain? Um, it's about a month. Well, like three weeks. And yeah, and I ate like right before coming here. And I'm great jumping around during worship. It's awesome. Awesome. Hallelujah. Let's give a hand for Jesus Christ. And so, Anna, can you please uh, tell advice to people? Maybe they're struggling with sickness tonight. And what can you tell them? You know, never give up on God, even if you're having the pain in the body. I never really confessed it until just like last month ago. I told my husband, I'm like, okay, I'm really struggling with this pain. But I've always said it, I'm just a healthy person. I'm just fighting the sickness. And, you know, don't let that pain define who you are. Still come to church. You know, I continuously came to morning prayers. I continuously came... Um, did my home group even though I was struggling with that pain and I believe God saw my dedication you know um he's a faithful God he's a God that heals he doesn't want to see us suffer and just be faithful to him and he will heal you okay.